my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me Good morning, people of the grid. Today brings me to downtown Calgary. Got some stuff to do down here. And then uh, coming up on lunch, I've got to run back home. I've got two vehicles that I got to get the tires changed on. So I'm going to get uh, the Tesla's tires switched over to summer tires, which uh, I'm still running the winters, but they're at the end of their usable life cycle. So don't really care that I'm running them right now in the summer because they're getting recycled so putting the summer tires on or the all-year tires on which will be good for this car doing the same thing for the truck I got a new set of tires that are going on the truck that'll be later today so yeah and then if it doesn't rain I still got a bunch of stuff around the house like mowing the lawn oh and Amelia is feeling better today which is great Well, I've got the uh, useless winter tires loaded in the back here and the good uh, all season tires that I run through the summer are now on the car. I love how the car picks it up because uh, it was throwing a warning saying that I can't talk to two of the tires. I think they're completely flat. And then as I drove, the TPMS sensors spin up, they power up, they send their signal into the, the MCU here. And then you get a message that says, did you just change tire sizes or something? Did you want to register these as your current tire set? And I say yes. And then boom, just like that, all of the warnings go away on the PSI sensors because they're all set to the right amount because that's what the tire shop does. Cal Tire's good at that. I'm on my good tires now. Well, they're, they're good for the rest of uh, this season. So they should last me up until November, at which time I need to buy a new set of winter tires. I'm thinking I did pretty good. I did really good because uh, what I've gotten out of these two sets of tires, by the time the summer is over, by the time you know I get to winter tires, I'll probably be at least at 100 and, let's call it 150,000 kilometers, which means on each set of tires, I got a minimum of about 75,000 kilometers per. Not bad at all. Pretty happy with that actually. So um, I'm thinking my next set of winter tires, I won't get nearly that much because apparently the Nokians, they only have a half-life of what the Pirellis do because they are a true winter tire with softer rubber. The Pirellis that Tesla sells, they are winter tires, but a harder rubber, which is why I got away with running them for so long. So yeah, which means also that when I get the Nokians, I'm gonna have to make sure they come off as the temperature warms up. Otherwise you're just killing the tires. And I don't wanna do that. What I got to do now is drop these off, drop the car off, switch to the truck, get the new tires for the truck in the back, and I'm going in to do the same thing with the truck. Well, managed to get the uh, tires on the light runner changed. That was uh, lunchtime. The day's done here. I got the lawn mowed and now I'm taking the truck in to get its tires uh, changed. I've got them uh, right in the back there. We're actually gonna toss away the old ones because they are no good. It's been, well, we got the truck in 2008. It's 2018. So it's been 10 years on one set of tires on this thing. Yeah, got a good, uh, good use out of those tires too, so. Um, swapping them out and then we're good for another five years easy I've got to get to the trailer and make sure that our fridge is still on so I've got two propane tanks in here for the trailer I'll probably swap to uh, a cheaper vehicle when I get home and head out and get that little task done as well just getting a lot of stuff done today Well, we got new tires uh, on the truck. The old ones have been disposed of and uh, we are set. We're probably good for another five years easy. 
of this thing uh, taking us camping and hauling all of our gear so uh, feeling pretty good about that and we just freed up a whole bunch of room in our garage because now those tires aren't laying along the walls of the garage too so that is a good thing so I think I'm going to run over to the trailer and check the propane situation. One of the questions I noticed uh, somebody had dropped was um, how long can our trailer fridge run off of propane? So normally what I do is I fully open up the valves on two tanks. The trailer auto switches between the two. In that state, I believe even in the hottest of summer, uh, leaving the trailer untouched, we're good for three weeks that way pretty much guaranteed it might even be four weeks it might be like two weeks per tank which is more than we ever leave it sitting still in the summertime because usually we're always always using it right now though we need to wait until I think the end of June that's our next camping that's when uh, our next this weekend and the following weekend are spoken for and then our weekends are pretty much free and open for camping and we will be going out so let's go check on the trailer see how it's doing we'll check on the solar and the batteries too Kind of lost right now we uh we had supper we're actually amelia's at her baseball game they're just warming up right now and i went for a quick one wheel ride there's a river pathway system down here near the uh baseball diamond but uh i didn't look at the map i just thought i went in the direction and ended up coming back anyways uh gonna have to look for it another time but i'm having a nice one wheel ride Well, our baseball game is done and we froze our butts off. It's I think crazy. you were warm because you were running around, right, Amelia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we froze our butts off. I was huddled like a little girl under a blankie and I was still cold. It's, it's like our weather's a bit schizophrenic. Because it was beautiful yesterday. Yeah, 31 yesterday and now freezing. So today. we are heading home. We're going to get under a blanket again and stay warm. Call it a night yeah. until it gets warm. I don't think it's going to yeah. be warm tomorrow, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't checked the weather. We'll see. So until then, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Biker and the A-Team, out.